In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and run Code Llama model locally and privately and totally offline by using Llama GPT. In my previous video, I showed you end to end installation and I will drop the link in video's description. In this video, I'm going to show you again without running the commands for the installation, but I will show you how to run the Code Llama model by using Llama GPT. The first thing you need to do in order to install it is to go to this github repo and i'll drop the link in video's description click on green button and grab this url once you have grabbed it go back to your terminal and i'm running ubuntu operating system let me show you its version this ubuntu operating system is running on aws ec2 c6 dot forex large so this is my ubuntu operating system also make sure that you have docker installed if you don't know how to do it i have another video on the channel to install docker on ubuntu so i have docker installed and i have the proper ubuntu operating system you can use it on any linux variant or on the mac os let me clear the screen now the first step you need to do is to git clone and that the repo which we have just copied i already have cloned it as part of my previous video it's already there and then you need to cd to this llama gpt directory so i am already there let's check what's inside we already have run.hsh normally when you first install it just change the permission on this run.sh to a plus x dot run.sh if you're running it on ubuntu okay so i already have done it now as a next step all you need to do is to run the llama model and the way you can run is is simply type dot slash run dot sh dash dash model and then code dash 7b 7b 7 7 billion parameter and then that's all you need to do press enter and it is going to install the code 7b llama model on this system it takes a bit of a time but doesn't take too long and once this is done this will start this model on port 3000 on the local host so make sure if you're using ec2 instance or any other firewall you open port 3000 in the security group so it is installing let's wait for it to finish so it has finished installing let's see in our browser if it runs and for that, all we need to do is to simply go to our browser, then type HTTP colon double slash, and then your IP or um, your local host, and then colon port 3000. Let me run it. Let's wait for it to download. Oh, wow. So you can see that our code llama is already there. This is great. Let me clear my previous configuration. So that's done and this is my code llama 7b and this is where you can lower the randomness and if you lower this value from here it will be more focused and deterministic okay let's leave it here let's ask it to uh, message or maybe we could select a prompt with this let's select that um, uh, any uh, message for any code prompt for it so write a Python program to generate random numbers. Let's press enter. It is generating it. Let's see how it goes. There you go. So you can see that not only it has given us a code, but it also um, given us some of the documentation. Let's run another run. Let's try, try out some more prompts. So I'm asking you to write a code that asks user for the name and say hello. And you can see that it has created this code, which looks good to me. Let's give it another bit hard question. I'm asking it to create a list of movies, create a list of ratings for these movies, combine them to make a JSON object of 10 movies with their ratings. So it has gone with some of the movies. And I don't know what the case with these LLM. Every LLM, I guess, I have asked this question always includes Shawshank Redemption in it. Anyway, it has clicked, done some ratings. 
is cool. Confusion. So this is great. I like it. The other prompt is I'm just asking it to create an Oracle query on the basis of this schema structure which I have given it. Yep, looks good. So this is it. Uh, you can see that this is totally private, totally offline. I'm not using any API key. I don't have to log in anywhere. All I have done is install it on my local server in AWS. You can do it on your local laptop if you have the grunt. And all you need is around 32 or 16 gig of memory. And then you can just play around with it. And it is just a 7 billion parameter model. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you still have any questions or confusion, please drop them in the comments. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.